oral tox procedure video. Ensure the donor avoids placing anything in their mouth for at least 10 minutes prior to the oral fluid collection. This includes food, drink, gum, and tobacco products. Carefully inspect the oral tox pouch to ensure there are no tears, cuts, or damage to the packaging. Check the lot number and expiration date. To aid in collecting enough oral fluid, the donor should be instructed to pool oral fluid prior to the collection. Open the foil pouch and hand the oral tox collector swab to the donor. Instruct the donor to introduce the collection swab into their mouth, rotating it and sweeping the size of their cheek, gums, and tongue to initiate salivation. The donor must not chew, bite, or suck on the sponge. This video shows color appearing on the indication strip inside the collection swab, which indicates there is sufficient amount of oral fluid before testing. Next, insert the collection swab sponge first into the device, pushing and turning until the threaded handle locks into place. Observe that there is sufficient oral fluid coming in contact with each strip. The oral tox device should remain on a flat surface at all times. Make sure that the top control line is visible for all test strips, otherwise the test is invalid and the results must not be used. Two lines appearing as seen in this example show a negative result. A negative result can be read as soon as the control and test line appear. Any test line, regardless of the intensity, color, or size, is a line and indicates a negative result. It is normal for line intensities to vary for different drug strips. Due to the test chemistry, it is normal for THC to run slower than other test strips. A presumptive positive result, as seen in this example, is indicated by only the top control present and the absence of a bottom test line. Be sure not to read presumptive positive results until 10 minutes. Rarely, a device may have a test strip or strips that do not perform as intended. If after three minutes any of the test strips are not running, air bubbles may be inhibiting the migration of the oral fluid up the strip. Gently tap the device on the flat surface. This action should break the bubbles and allow the test to run as intended. Follow your organization's established protocol for presumptive positive results. After the results have been interpreted, the oral tox device may be thrown in a regular trash receptacle. Results should not be read after 20 minutes.